So today I am doing a book review of Star Trek Voyager Distant Shores. This is a collection of stories um, from Voyager. A lot of them are kind of summing up episodes um, and especially where we had questions and everything. Um, I think that's part of the reason why they released this book. Um, and I've heard mixed reviews, so it took me a while to read this book, but I finally did, and I can kind of understand. There are probably four stories that, two that just, like, really didn't make sense, um, two more that didn't add a lot, and then some really amazing stories. Um, like 18 Minutes, which is told by the doctor when he was, um, on the episode The Blink of the Eye, or Blink of an Eye, um, he goes down for a little while, but he's stuck there. So he's stuck there for a couple of years. And then he comes back on the episode and he mentions he has a child. And so I've always had questions. And so this this um, short story was so nice because um, you finally got the answers, what happened down there. And then he is he also reflects on other episodes um that were mostly about him and so it was really nice that and it's i think it's very well written and it's just a very good story like i just i couldn't put it down um it is a short story but i still couldn't like i needed to do some other things but i just sat and read because it was just it was very good it um it did get a little emotional um it was very sweet as well, and there were some funny parts and just some very interesting parts. They really explored a lot. Now, the story before it, uh, Brief Candle, this one was really, really good as well. Um, it it kind of, it after I read that, I just thought that one was written very, very well too. After I read that, I'm like, I want to do everything on my bucket list. But they go over um, mostly one character and they talk about Kim a lot which is nice because Kim just doesn't get a lot of um time on the show to me he has a couple of episodes about him but I like I wish I still knew a little more a little more character development so here they talk about him and they talk about and they mention something Paris said and I just it just went together so well um but basically he's in a relationship and it's just a very sweet story and it, it also mentions Belana um, about the barge of the dead and why the captain let her go and why the doctor decided that he thought it was okay what pushed him um, and it also was uh, survival instincts so that one was really really good and then there's this famous one that I think most Voyager people have read it's um, Isabu's sure I probably mispronounced that by Kristen Bayer and um, this one is about Chakotay and Captain Janeway. And I've always liked those two, mostly because the show made me. Because they made it seem like there was so much tension. I can't believe, I still can't get over the ending. But um, but this was, the story was quite a treat. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but there were, so, I think there were some really, really good ones that, um answered a lot of questions then there was also closure and a lot of people say this is too confusing um i read it and it was confusing at first so i would say just go along with it and um at the end of that story they wrap everything up but it's so well written um it's just some beautiful writing um and then it talks about it's a closure with kess and um, Neelix, and then Seven's also in the story. So that's really rare to have Seven and Ness, or Kess, alive in story. So, um, yeah. And I'll, I've also heard about, um, oh, Letting Go. Um, I haven't heard anything about that. A lot of people, or much about it. Some people have said they don't like stories where it's not about Voyager's crew. But I've always wondered what was going on back home like um in mosaic the book mosaic all about captain janeway they talk about her relationship with her boyfriend and how um close they were and how much they meant to each other so it's kind of crazy that he did move on and you'd have to read mosaic to understand why i think that's crazy even after seven years 
So, or, and really, okay, not crazy, but like, I still wanted to know what was going on. Um, and they go into that and they go into the other family members. Um, and it was just, it was like, oh, okay, I finally know. It's really good to hear that. Um, it's a very sweet story and sad and it's just, it's got everything in it. But, um, and then there are two stories, uh, at, towards the end, Bottomless and On the Tiger. And it's, um, those two are about, okay, the Equinox. Um, and they go on more about the crew and how they were treated and everything that went on there. So, okay, that's just a brief, um, synopsis of the stories that I really liked. I think it is worth buying, um, especially for 18 minutes because so, there's so much clarification. And then there's even a part, I can't remember the story, but Neelix explains why his attitude changed like it did. Um, and that was nice for me because I was that, that was kind of a radical change. Um, and they just, they explained so much with the episodes. Um, so everything's kind of filled in that you were probably thinking. Um, well, it was for me, but anyway, so it's Star Trek Voyager, Distant Shores, um, and it's various authors and I definitely, uh, definitely recommend it. Thank you for watching.